Okay, we're back for another installment of some NIM strategy. Uh, let me start with a quick recap of what we figured out so far, and then we'll uh, look at some more complicated ones. Uh, so, in the first video, well, I guess we just did the rules in the first one, but in the first strategy one, we figured out that if we have any pile, if we just have one pile, it doesn't matter how big it is, just take the whole pile and you win. I think we're set on that. Then we stepped, up, stepped it up a notch to games with two piles. Eventually we're going to get to games with three piles, but for now I'm just going to stick to games with two piles, because I want to really make sure we understand those before we step up to three piles. So the simplest game with two piles is this one. And what we said here is that the second player wins. Because if I go first, I'm going to take one, you're going to take the other one, and you win. So the second player wins this game. And when the second player wins a game, it means that moving to that position is a really good thing. So what I mean by that is if we have some more complicated game, we have one over here and three over here, moving to this game we just talked about is a good thing because now it's your opponent's move and you're going to win. So they're going to take one, you're going to take the last one. So moving to a game where the second player wins is a winning strategy. So we also figured out last time that in this game, the second player wins. If you don't remember that, check out the last video. So in this game, the second player wins, which means that moving to this game is another winning strategy. So if I have four, say five and two, I have five over here and two over here. If I take these three, say I go first and I take those three, I just moved to this game where the second player wins, and now I get to win. So let's just quickly go through that one again. So I just took away three, now it's your move. If you take these two, I'm going to take the remaining two and win. And if you just take one, I'm going to move to this game, which keeps on coming up. And then you're going to have to take the one, and I get to take the last one and win. So what I want you to think about before you jump into the next video is what's going on in these higher examples. So far we've seen that if there's two piles of two, the second player wins. And if there's two piles of one, the second player wins. Is that true if there's two piles of four, or two piles of ten, or two piles of a hundred? And if it is, what's the winning strategy? How do you actually win? If the second player can win, I want you to be able to tell me how. So think about that, and we'll look at it in the next one.